Okay, uh, Oshigambo go. High School was established by missionaries in 1960 and some of its structures were built with mud. The school accommodates 354 learners from grades 8 to 12, with all of them accommodated in the hostel. The hostel is now in dilapidated condition with some structures abandoned due to unconducive environment to accommodate learners. As a principal, you are, you are advised or you are told to renovate the, the infrastructure or to maintain the buildings. But how can you renovate something of this nature which is made out of mud? Now, then he said, now that I'm going to put the cement, I'm going to put the mud. It is just so hard, and you are expected to lose life in a sh as, as time goes, because now it's the rainy season, and these things, once it get wet, anything can happen. And that is the, what we are saying, that uh, the building in Oshigamba High School can collapse any time. A Congo says there is also a need to abolish the boys' and girls' hostels and rebuild new ones. The visits for the, for the, for the, for the beds. Now, during the night, when the beds are moving, those notice things are falling over directly to a child. And therefore, as that's the reason that forces us to buy a new car in order to make sure that we accommodate when the students are getting sick at night, we have got an efficient car that can run. The school is also in need of academic resource educational materials such as science equipment, expansion of laboratories and books for the library. For NBC News, Tanatenia Imbodi, Oshigambo.